Welcome to this course where you'll be introduced to coding using Scratch. So what is coding? Coding is really just about giving instructions to a computer or to a device. And we're going to be using Scratch. What is Scratch? Um, you can think of Scratch as a coding or a programming language. So just the way we have humans that can communicate in English, Yoruba, Hausa, Spanish, and things like that, you also have languages that computers can understand. And Scratch is one of those languages. Actually, Scratch is more like a visual programming language, as you're going to see, because we're going to be dragging and dropping blocks onto a particular interface. All right, so if I come to Google, I will just search for Scratch. And the first link that comes up is scratch.mit.edu. If I click on that, it would actually take me to the Scratch website, right? And when you get to the Scratch website, you would see that you can use Scratch to create stories, you can use it to make games, animations, you can make music and things like that. And one of the cool things is you can actually share whatever you create with um, everyone around the world, right? Okay, so when you come to Scratch, there are two buttons that you have. You have the start creating, so you can start creating immediately or you can join. And um, if you want your project to be saved, then you have to click on join. You're going to need an adult for this because there's going to, you're going to need an email address and things like that. Okay. If you already have an account like me, I will just sign in. Right. And can you look, can you see the tabs here? So we have create, we have explore, we have ideas, we have about. If you want to create um, something in Scratch, you just click on the create button. So it will take you to the editor. Or if you want to see what other people have done, you can click on explore. So if I click on explore now, um, I would actually be able to see some of the projects that other people have done. I can even search some of the projects that they've done. So I can click here to search or anything like that, right? Cool. So you can just go through this and see some of the things that are possible in Scratch, right? Okay. So if I come to my editor now, so I've, I've clicked on the editor, right? So this is the Scratch interface, right? So, um, you have a couple of buttons at the top here that we're going to talk about but for now just know that this is scratch 3.0 and they used to be scratch 2.0 the the way they work is kind of the same but scratch 3.0 looks a bit nicer right okay so let's get straight into it and we're, i'm going to walk you through um this interface of scratch okay so in scratch or let me start with something like a play so you, if you if you've ever acted in a play or you've seen a play before, you know that there are different characters like actors and actresses, right? That act out on a stage, right? And those characters have lines that they say and you call those lines script. Now it's the same thing in Scratch. In Scratch, you have characters that are called sprites. So for example, this cat is called a sprite, right? And then they act out scripts. So you can create scripts here. So they act out script on a stage and the stage in Scratch, this white part that we can see here for now, you can actually change it. But the stage in Scratch is called a backdrop, right? So you have characters called sprites that act on a stage called backdrops and they act out different lines or different scripts, um, which we can create using blocks. Now Scratch is very cool because you can just drag and drop blocks together. And like Lego, they're going to snap together, right? Can you see that? Okay. And we're going to look at, uh, we're going to talk about some of the things that you, you can actually do in Scratch. But for now, let's talk about the different parts of the interface, right? So if you look here, you have different categories. So different block categories. So we have motion, we have looks, we have sound. And if you click on the different categories, you'll be seeing uh, different blocks come up, right? All right, so you have a couple of that there. So you, this here are your block categories, and then this here are the different blocks that you have. You can also scroll through this place for the blocks, right? Okay, now here, this part here is where you create your script, right? So where you drag the blocks and you drop them together, right? Okay, and then here you have, um, you're going to be able to see everything that you're doing. You're going to see it on this part here. So you have your sprite, you have the backdrop or the stage. And then at the bottom here, if you add like different sprites, you're going to see like different sprites that you have added, right? And then you can use this button to add a sprite. And then you can use this button to add a backdrop, 
right okay um, and let's look at some of the menu items that we have here you have file you can use it to create a new project uh, you can save now save as a copy that's if like if you want to duplicate whatever projects that you're working on you can actually um, so there's scratch offline you you can create a project on your scratch maybe on your scratch offline editor and then you can actually load that project into your online editor you can also save to your computer so whatever you have done um, you can download the file the scratch file right uh, we have edit edit uh, we have restore maybe if you've deleted the script or you've deleted the sprite you can restore it so that's like the undo button uh, you have the turn on turbo mode uh, you don't need to worry about this for now we have tutorials so you can look through to see like the different things that you can create in scratch and then here you can change the name of your project so for example you can call it scratch project right and that would change the name of my project and then here if you have an account on scratch and that account is verified you can share now what share means is you are sharing your project with everyone around the world right so everyone can see it if you do not share your project no one will be able to see your project it will be private to you right okay and then you have the C projects page uh, which we're going to talk about later so right now we have different tabs here. So we have code, you have costumes. So you have costumes for your different sprites. If I click on the tab now, it will take me to the different costumes that this particular sprite has. And then you have the sounds tab, right? All right, so when you are clicked on backdrop, this becomes backdrops instead of costume. So you have code, backdrop, sound. If you're on the sprite, it would be code, costume, sound, right? All right, cool. So that's um, a an introduction to the interface of, of Scratch. But you also mentioned these two buttons here. You have this very important button called the green flag. So that's like how you start or how you run your program. And then you have this red button here, which is stop. So you can use it to stop your project or whatever you are doing, right? So you have the green flag and the red hexagon, right? Here, you can go to full screen mode, um, and things like that, right? Okay, and if you want to see all the projects that you've made, you can click on your name at the top and go to my stuff. All right, so let's get straight into um, creating projects using Scratch. Now, one of the things that you can do is, like I said, you can add sprites, so you can add like different characters to your stage. And if you use this button here, choose a sprite, you can search for um, the sprite. So you can choose a sprite from the library. You can paint a new sprite. You can use a surprise sprite and you can upload a sprite from your computer. So that's say if you have um, images that you want to use and they're on your computer, you can actually upload them. So let's choose something from the library. And when you come to the library, you can see like you have different sprites that you can use and they are actually arranged in different categories. So you have animals, you have people, you have fantasy, um, you have dance and things like that, right? So you can choose whatever one that you want. So I'm just going to choose something random now. Let's say I, I choose a chick. And when I click on that chick, you will notice that it comes up on my stage, right? So I can move these characters around on the stage. Um, let's use the surprise to add another um, sprite. So it's just going to surprise me and add a random sprite, right? Okay, cool. So we've added um, our sprite here, right? And one of the things that you can do, if you look around this area with your sprites, there are a couple of things that you can do. One is you can change the name, right? So here that is saying city boss, let's say I want to call it boss, right? So I can change the name of my sprite. I can use these buttons to either make the sprite show or show on the stage or make it hide, right? So if I click on this one, the um, boss is going to hide, right? So show and hide. And something else that I can do is this size. I can set the size of my sprite. Um, by default, your scratch sprites are 100, so 100%. Um, if I want to make it bigger, let's say I use something like 300, right? Can you see how big it is? If I want to make it smaller, let's say I use something like 20, can you see how small it is, right? So that's how you um, change the size of your sprite. And then if you want to delete, there are two ways that you can delete your sprite in Scratch. One way is when you are clicked on the sprite, you would see a 
there's like a trash can at the top right corner, right? So you can click on that to delete and that um, sprite will be gone. Or you can actually just right click on the sprite itself and you're going to see delete, right? So you can click on delete. All right, cool. Okay, so that's how we can add um, sprites onto, yes, into our project. The same way we can actually add backdrops. So you can choose the backdrop from library. You can paint a new backdrop surprise and you can upload backdrop. So let's choose a backdrop from the library. And the same way they are arranged in different categories. So you have all fantasy, music, sports and different things like that. All right. So I'm just going to add one of them. Right. And you can actually add multiple backdrops to your um, project. Right. And where are you going to see the backdrops? So if you have clicked on the backdrop. So let's just click on the backdrop here. And if you come here to backdrops, this tab here, you can see all the backdrops that you have on the side here. Right. So you have all the backdrops. This is the default one, the white, the plain screen. Uh, you have the one that we added here, which is bedroom three. And we have the one that we added here, which is bedroom one. Right. All right. Cool. So um, what we've talked about now is we've talked about how to add sprites onto our into our project. We've talked about how to add um, backdrops. Right. And you've seen how you can set the size of the different things. And when you are done, you can actually just change the name of your project to whatever you want. And if you want everybody to see it, you click on share, right? Um, but for now, let me just go to the projects page. So you'll see how the project page looks. So the project page just gives you, um, basically like a summary of what your project is about. You can tell people what you, how to use your project here. You can give uh, some notes here. And anybody that wants to see inside your project will just click on see inside. So if you click on see inside, it will take you back to the editor. But like I said right now, you have not shared your project. So only you will be able to see it, right? Okay. So if you want to go back into that project, you can go to see inside. 